There! That's the Jade Chamber! Hmm... Uh... Uh... This is bad! Paimon's supposed to be your guide, but Paimon doesn't know where the way up to the Jade Chamber is! Ugh... <sighs> well... Since we want to go to the Jade Chamber, heading to its location on the map is the sensible thing to do. Let's look around. There has to be a way up there nearby. Hey, look! There's some sort of mechanism thingy. Since this is the right place, it must have something to do with the Jade Chamber. Yes, this must be the way. Huh? It only takes us up to here. Ah, if that wind current was stronger, we'd be able to reach the top in one go. Huh? Why? Or... Oh, Paimon gets it! If it was a secret, Ganyu wouldn't have let us try to find it ourselves, right? Alright, let's follow your plan. Then we can... Oh, hang on a moment. Look down there. Looks like we've gotten close to the Guizhong Ballista. Hmm. Uh, Paimon has a new idea. Why don't we shoot you up to the Jade Chamber using the Ballista? Uh, no. Paimon may have just forgotten to think about the safety measures. Oh, that's right! Now that you mention it, we could use the Guizhong Ballista to see if there's another way up nearby! Halt! Who trespasses on these hallowed grounds? Exactly! What are you talking about? We're invited guests! What makes you think you can treat us like this? No... Wait, maybe this was Ningwan's plan all along. She pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber, but set up a Melolith ambush here to arrest us. Uh, now Paimon's mad. You, over there. This is a trick, isn't it? How shameless. What? We're just on guard duty. What do you mean, shameless? What nonsense. Seize these suspicious intruders at once. Well, here they come! Line them up and knock them down! Stop! What's all this about? Lady Kuching, these two strange people suddenly appeared. They seem to have designs on the Guizhong Ballista. Who are you calling strange? Hmm? You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Who are you? We're invited guests here to look for the Lila Chising. Who are you? Well, as it happens, I am one of the Liyue Chising. Oh! I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Chising. I know of you, traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. Wow. Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shot out here in the middle of nowhere either. The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhong Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. These Millilith are just here to guard the scene, not to arrest anyone. So, this was all a misunderstanding? Paimon never would have thought. Anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery. Even to the Chising. <sighs> that was... Huh? Oh, right. So, Lady Yuhang, might you have any idea why Lady Tianquan invited us to go to the Jade Chamber? Just call me Kuching. 
I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. We're not taking sides. We spoke with the Adepti. They want to protect Liu as well. When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? Huh? You are mortals and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. Well, you've got a point there. Still, this is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Liyue who doesn't respect the gods or the Adepti. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Chising? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. But to think that they would call for a council of Adepti rather than come down here directly... How surprisingly civilized of them. Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? <sighs> Another super bold statement! <sighs> I'll stop here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, Traveler. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. The cream of Li Yue's mercantile crop also is sending to the Jade Chamber is the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. Favor? But... but... Wait, that's right! Greeting gifts are a staple of Leo's culture! We need to get one! Not to curry favor or anything, just to... respect Leo's culture! Alright, alright. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how to get to the Jade Chamber first. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhong. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Find a guide at the Yuehai Pavilion, and... Well then, may we meet again, Traveler. Well, that Yuhung may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. So, what should we give to Ningguang when we see her? Oh, right! Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night! Sugar Frosted Slime! Paimon has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like Ningguang. Why don't we go with that for a gift? With a certain boom shakalaka, of course! Let's go gather ingredients! Time waits for no one, and neither will our riches. <laughs> 